Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, the best strings for your junior player. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this question comes from Simon Lowell, actually. Uh, fantastic YouTube channel. Really enjoy your content. Well, thank you, Simon. Would love a video on your take on the best strings for kids 6 to 12 years old. Well, that's actually a great question. Um, most kids under 12 typically don't break strings very much and we really don't want them to use polyesters because we don't want to take them out of the game before they really get going so my suggestions are pretty much going to be all in the synthetic realm now i mean if you're a six-year-old probably seven, eight, maybe up to nine, ten-year-old, um, I would definitely suggest using multifilament, um, monofilament, as long as it's a synthetic-based, nylon-based string. I mean, if you really want to splurge, go for gut. Um, I mean, if you really want to do it. But, I mean, I, I think something as simple as like a head velocity in the uh, probably the 17 gauge because uh, they're probably not going to break it uh, if they do and they start breaking it maybe once a month uh, amp ramp them up to a 16 gauge but I think something like that would definitely be suffice um, or sufficient I mean uh, for that age group um, until they start breaking it in an alarming amount if you really want to splurge in in junior here really uh, want something with softer feel maybe a little more spin uh, we can always go to like the best of the best i'm a professional in the synthetics for more spin go with professional spin All right that's the the most um I think it's the most spin you can get in a multi-filament, uh, spin-friendly synthetic string. So, um, obviously there are, oh, I got two of those. I must be, I must have my mind on pro spin a lot. So, uh, I mean, like I said, you want to splurge on Johnny, go for that. Iconic all as a alternative. Uh, if, if you don't want your kid to, you know, suffer from any kind of arm problems. I mean, any of these will be fine. Um, this Dunlop string is also great. Um, I tricked Coach Rob into thinking this was NXT. So, um, it's that soft. It's probably a little more durable. Okay. Now, the other thing is once the child or the children or Johnny gets up to like 11, 12 years old, you know, they, some of them that are higher performance tend to break strings at a more rapid rate. So I have 11 year olds and 12 year olds that basically bring in a racket every week to every other week. Now, I really don't like, you know, putting polys on them. So I kind of ease them in with the coach's permission. So I make sure, I mean, they're obviously big enough, strong enough. Um, and I, I definitely make sure with the coach and the parent that it's okay to do this. Now, I don't put them into a straight poly though. I ease them in with like a Torbite 19. So that's a 110. Okay. Thin, thin. Only on the main. Only on the main at a low, low tension, like a 48, a 45, a 46. And I would cross that with any of those synthetics that I have. Um, you know, velocity is perfectly fine. Gamma TNT, professional if you want to splurge. Iconic all. I mean, any of those will work 
as long as it's in that 45, 48 realm, um, since they are going to be a little smaller. Now, as they get bigger and stronger, let's say you have a five foot something, uh, 12 year old, and they're breaking this at an, an alarming rate, like literally two rackets a week, possibly three rackets a week, which I do run into sometimes. Um, I basically change this out and I go into like a confidential 18 or even a Hyper G18. I mean, either one of these will work. Hyper G is obviously a little softer. So I'd probably go Hyper G first before confidential. And then again, again, cross it with any of those synthetics that I talked about. Velocity, TNT, Iconic All, Professional. If you want to do gut, go for it. Um, un, you know, if they start breaking that at an alarming rate, then, I mean, we basically start moving up in gauges. So I went from a 19 now to an 18. Um, 17 is the next stop. But hopefully by 17, the, the child's 13 years old or 14 years old and then um, not breaking them so fast or else we'll have to go to 16 light in the 16. Okay. But since this subject is about six to 12, that's as far as I usually go. I usually do not go full bed of poly. I mean, unless it's a special case. And even at that point, I would just go full bed of 19. Okay, so if you have that special high performance kid that just breaks strings, um, just try a full bed of this. But I mean, check with the coach, make sure it's okay. Check with the parent, make sure it's okay. Because again, we do not want to take them out before we start their tennis careers. All right, Simon, thank you for the question. Hopefully um, I gave everybody an educated answer for this. All right, keep the kids playing. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.